Hello folks, this is Jamil Surfer for Gunstruck Reviews. We're here in Scottsdale, Arizona at C2 Tactical, our favorite indoor facility. Today we're going to talk about Bond Arms and something really cool from them. So before we do that, I'd like to ask you to please like this video, share this video, and subscribe to the channel so we may continue to bring you content like this. What do we have from Bond Arms? This is the 380 uh, Stinger that we shot last year. And aluminum frame, stainless steel barrel set, awesome setup, okay, very lightweight. But this year they came up with something really, really cool. They come up with a couple of series of pistols in 22 long rifle. One of them being the Stinger series, which is basically the same pistol, but all stainless steel. And if you notice, the barrels are like, oh, nine millimeter, 22. The thing of having a 22 barrel is that this pistol is a whole lot heavier because not only does it have a stainless steel frame, but it has all that mass from the smaller hole. Not only that, not only did they come up with the Stinger series in um, 22 long rifle, the Rough series, which is a larger pistol, the Rawhide in 22 long rifle too. Check it out. The controls are different, no trigger guard. Is a tad shorter barrel, if you notice, but by having all this mass, this thing is actually heavier. Um, and if you notice, the takedown lever in the Rough series is more of a bigger lever that allows you to, you know, loosen, take the barrel apart so you can load and unload. It has, uh, e like the 9mm didn't have it, the ejection system so you can eject your rounds. This one is spring loaded. So basically at the moment that you open your, your action, your shells are not completely ejected, but they're pushed out. The Stinger series doesn't have that feature. You have to physically push that up. So check it out. Let's go ahead and shoot them. Um, we're going to be using 36 grain um, ammo from Federal. Great ammo. Remember when that ammo used to be really, really cheap? Not anymore. Um, so we're going to shoot it here at this totally disgusting executive zombie that is coming at us. And heck, we need to, you know, save our lives. This guy is coming to eat our brains. And we need to completely stop that threat. So like always, it has a safety on it, push to fire. You have to cock it every time you fire it. So let's go ahead and Oh, recoil is so brutal on it. Not. Let's go ahead and download it. Again, like I told you before, you had to physically push on the ejector rod and push the shells out. Push it back in. And let's do it again. Like any rimfire pistol, please do not dry fire rimfire pistols, okay? Okay, brain shot, eye shot. This zombie is now out of commission. Again, we're gonna push it out. And put the shells down, the empties. Now let's try the rawhide. Let's see how it shoots. Being 22 long rifle, again guys, push to fire. It has the safety on it. Cock. Okay, it's a little louder. You probably can't hear it probably because of the shorter um, barrel. But, man, having this e auto eject on it, it is so cool. Again, again. but you have actually no recoil on it. This thing is totally cool. I'm liking it, I'm gonna shoot two more rounds on it just because it's 22 long rifle and it's fun to shoot. And by the way, this evil zombie is really close. This is not something that you're gonna be shooting at 25 yards at. 
and expect to be any place close to the target. This is a, you know, last resort kind of pistol. You stick in your pocket. And I would recommend if you're going to pocket carry these, get a suitable holster for them. I am going to go to a local holster maker and I'm going to have him make me uh, custom holsters for these so I can stick them in my pocket and carry them. Again, guys, thanks for watching. And like always, remain healthy, stay safe, and definitely have fun at the range.